Tennessee huddle as we come back from a timeout. Yaklich in his fourth year leading the Flames. And Ray Harper, seventh season in Jacksonville. And two minutes, 13 seconds. Still got to find a way to get Cox, need him involved on the offensive end. I'm impressed with his energy and activity so far. First one is true from... It'll be bound by Johnson outside. Kiki a three. I tell you, he is a, he is a... Gives it off. They barely get the shot off in time. Now after that big three, Jack State with a forward out of Sumter, South Carolina, throws it into the... Blue. Match up there. They did not come off and double Jawan situation. He is a very strong player. Thanks, Stephen Clay. In the lane, and he's side outside Scoball. Just off the mark, outside the perimeter. Roberts tries to trade. Two. Nicholson to start the game, he's just not getting that call. Jones off to Scoball. They're going to have to adjust. Ayers heaves it up toward the rim. And this is O'Connor driving, and just short. It's Andy. Spins around, awkward reverse layup. Four-point game in Jacksonville. But overall, a very good shooting percentage. 16 of 17 at the line this year. Make that 17. To defend, you run them off the three-point line, they can put... First chance at the line. He was position, three-man rotation. Cycle through... Fall asleep on these guys. <laughs> Tandy goes down low to Mason Nicholson. A perfect pass in and out, but he got his lead since early. Over to Scoball, a three. Back down low to Nicholson and the slam. Mason Nicholson build off his last outing. Two good plays inside right off the bench. He's defending on this 19 to 18 as we near the... UIC in transition, tipped, and it'll go out of bounds. Perfect pass down low, and yeah, the officials are conferring. And head coach Ray Harper, but as you said, Jay Jones, a three for Pickett, too much on it. Such as this, really any team, but especially this team. Jumper to the flame. Jones gives it off, and a blocker again, pointing at the other end, saying that's it. The whistle against the Gamecocks. He play it did appear that he got the arm, yeah. but as you mentioned, it's something in from Ethan Pickett. Yeah, Nicholson's probably done for the break. Pickett off the back. Brigham will attack. Floater off the rim. Mayors out of bounds in UIC basketball. We'll come back. The only matchup featuring a Conference USA team lead for UIC who's made their first ever trip. Points. The Gamecocks have done a good job to claw their way back in. Logan, that's. They're only down one rebound in that department. They give to Okani, spin around shot off the rim. And Bancock should have secured that ball. But whenever you have a chance to end a possession, so Okani with some room down low, and it closed quick. So you've got all Gamecocks have Purdue. Now back to Quincy. Drives the right side. Trying to tie it once again. Clark to working against Quincy Clark. And a harsh foul as he sent Clark and Brownell and Gamecocks can keep this in this range themselves. It's felt like the vast majority. Juwan Purdue. C.J. Jones passes ahead and the slam from Toby. Out taken by Jacksonville State with 2.07 to go here. And already six points. It definitely is. You know, Mickey, we, we talked about UIC. This is an important stretch for them, the Redbirds. They, you know, had a little bit over a big part of the schedule for the Flames as you never want to see. In Jacksonville. Kiki Tandy has it with the Gamecocks. That's the fourth block of the defense. For Illinois, Chicago. Five on the clock over to Kiki Tandy. Again. Allison, Coach Harper is going to get that third foul. Jacksonville State brings in a new face. They want to get, get his minutes going again. Well, there, Jaden Brownell. He just kind of swelled again. Brownell from Utah hits both of Comes through to make it a seven point for Jacksonville State before you head into the locker room. The Dandy around four flames tries a hook shot. It's off the there by 
Tandy. Score this time around. It's going to be all the way to the hoop for CJ. Really for him, the ball hit the and plus. 54.7 seconds to go in the last home game in a bit for Jackson Tarleton State in Little Rock. You know, conference too, not only are you wanting to figure out more about your team, you're wanting halftime. It's it's on the offensive end. Some, some better shot selection in the second half. Dora tries his luck. It's off to the right. Fifth team foul on the flank. His first free. Very athletic build. What they could become here in Conference USA. As the season goes along. Vera triple teamed. Pass is deflected. Knocking it out of bounds. Odom's got it, a heave down the floor. It's at the break. We'll be back in just a moment here on ESPN. Logan Maddox and Mickey Shadricks here with you. Pete Matt. As we take a look at some of the stats from the first half and at both teams out onto the floor shooting for their first ever win over the Flames of UIC. A couple of strong programs. Mickey, all time of calendar year 2023 and on one of the road before you start back up conference play. That this game has the potential to, to be Western Michigan and Incarnate Word who Jack State. Then for Jack State, here's the rest of the non-CUSA play against Fort Valley State. Okani, one of two Flames who showed out last year against Jack. The game before that, they were 0 for 11. Clark over to Juwan Purdue. Jack State down by Clark, step back three. Way off the mark and out of bounds. You look up and there's under 10 on the shot clock, under five. Scoball, a three from the wing. They won't hit back to back. It's Reap looking to cut into this deficit and he lost it out of bounds. Such luck. Since early in the game and I think the game caught and a bit too much contact from number one. See Clark and he'll check out as Caleb Johnson comes in at five wins in a row. First layup, thank you. A chance to get that one up, but thank you. Our need of a basket. Kiki Tandy, a lot came at home. Nice play there by Tandy. Did. 30. It sure did. Okani drives. Okani called for a double dribble. Good game. As you see. A flame coming away slowly on that play. It's a, the right idea by Nicholson, just not a good pass. Accelerates. McConney. You have the Gamecock logo. He'll drive. And faint. Got it. Jones, double pump layup. Hunt, takes it all the way. <laughs> Difference. <laughs> and the free throw is the line this year. And he hits these two. It's his opportunities with the ball, especially when he's posted. 15 minutes without scoring for the Gamecocks. Tandy, a bit too handsy down low. Big rejection from Jawan. They stay with it, but they throw it down seven. Nice defensive play, and Kiki Tandy comes open right. Finding Kiki Tandy. To Rivera, a three, in and out. Scramble for it. Still battling here in the second half. Gamecocks with a 6-0. Trying to claw. Okani around two Gamecocks. And knocked down by Andres Burney. Shot clock was. Okani in and out. He's the. He's one for two. Last year had seven points in the win over Jacksonville State. Andres Bernie just out of his reach. Out of oh, to Bernie. The pass from Tandy just never quite. That time around, Brownell left open, layup goes. Both. And it's off the foot of a flame and out of bounds. In with the steal. Tandy's going to check out as Alex Odom's back in the game. Brigham. Screen from Bernie, pass back to Andres. A nice one. And O'Connor gives off to C.J. Jones. You sit for this second half for UIC. Yaklik head back to his bench. Possible State trying to find the right option. That time Odom just drove inside. 
He going 0 for 11 in that first half. Ellis Brigham, stop jumper. It rattled Brownell a three. Just to go in this game as it's tipped out of bounds in 56. The Mayors at the baseline. In the lane, it's Joan Purdue and a fast. Purdue two for two at the line so far. Gamecocks men averaging eight points and six rebounds per contest. Sit up the floor for UIC to Rivera. Gets around Caleb Johnson. A bit of a mental lapse there by Johnson. After the crafty Rivera move. Gives outside a three for Kennedy, and he's fouled after the shot. Four. The Gamecocks lead for the Flames. First 24. Kennedy, three for th biggest he, lead of the game. Kiki Tandy remains. Then on the clock, can't, Tandy drives inside, has it knocked away. Relentless with their hands and their, their deep. Alex Odom will try to find an open. 3-5, 33. Clock violation. Aware of the, the situation on the floor. And to Jones, seven on the clock, mid-range. Way airballed. It's it coast to coast. Trying to get the rebound. Roberts was wide open on the inbounds. Comes inside for a higher. Jones over to Scoball, and it's a backcourt violation. Game caught to points. You can credit. Finds Tandy on the inbounds. In the paint, spin around shot off to the left. Jump ball. Little taste of their own medicine as he reached in on that drive. On the near side, working against Clay. He'll stop at the edge of the lane, shot perfectly. Reach in foul. Bad foul there in this game. And again, this, this young man, this troop, as a freshman Gamecock, and he's got a couple of tough baskets. 37. Kennedy gets around Bernie. Bernie with a block. A defensive play. Knocked out by. Defensive battle here in Jacksonville. Bernie, and he threw it right to Purdue. Andy to the right side, and mm. too far. Look, hustling toward a tight finish here in Jacksonville. 7:50 to go in this ball game. Inside to Andres Bernie, freshman. He steals by this UIC defense. Nothing's easy against either of these defenses. Bernie puts up an awkward shot. plays. You see here, he was one on one with O'Connor. backs him down. And it's off to the rim paint. Three from Rivera. This guy, and Gamecocks did. Back to Andres. Gets around the defender. Corner. Jones against Odom, and it's rejected from behind. Odom around three defenders. Layup, no good. Stephen Clay. Tiptoes that base. Putting the Gamecocks defensive effort too. And over to Jones. And it's knocked away. Two chances to cut it to less than eight, and they've come up empty. Bernie. Not this time. With the crowd that we had tonight, if Jack State could just get something going consistently. Odom to Purdue. Jawan tries a long two. And he's single on one, takes it all the way, and it's tipped out of bounds. We'll step aside, 223. Out of Clark on the left side. Quincy attacks, had an open lane, and make, takes it to the hoop and just misses it. And Here we get another look. No call there, and then Bernie. And the Flames will call time to step back two, and he traveled. Good defense, but he'll drive, layup, misses it. Rebounded by Bernie. Feels the same way over there, and Jay Koss get the steal. Brigham lays it in to Rivera. Got around Odom, and, a, and he sinks it. And then we're actually going to see one now. Tom T. throw from Rivera is true. Step back two, and a foul on the floor. Basically forced the Gamecocks to burn almost 12. Gives in a Tandy, a three, too short, and off fouling here. And immediately, 95. Off to the right. Give it in to Rivera. He is 
Got it. Rivera gives in to Quincy Clark. Pulls up. 49. Yeah, Logan, just an incredible defensive team. 